When you're feeling low or down, it can be really hard to know what to do. So here are some of our tips for managing when things feel difficult. My tip for dealing with depression is to find a creative hobby that you might be interested in. Um, whether you do it alone or with friends, I find that it's a great way to either express your emotions or just find a way to distract yourself. So for example, I like to go meet up with my friends and practice some DJing. And I find that it um, really helps me take my mind off things and I get to have a lot of fun with my friends. So it gets me out of a little depressive slumber. One thing you could do is make a playlist of your favorite YouTube videos. Uh, and then if you need a distraction in the future, you've got one that you'll find entertaining because you've made the playlist. My tip is journaling and writing your thoughts up. My tip is to use technology so that you don't isolate yourself. For example, you could watch a video whilst you're eating food, or you could use your phone to text, call, Snapchat, or play games with your friends so that you don't have to go through it alone. My tip for dealing with low moods is to be really mindful of the media that you're consuming. I find that when I watch a lot of true crime documentaries or just really sad films, it makes me feel a lot worse. So instead, I like to watch Christmas films or cartoons or films where I know the ending, so I know it won't upset me. Alternatively, you can turn off the screens completely. You can try meditating for five to 10 minutes, or you could read a book. If you don't like reading, audiobooks are a great alternative. One thing you could do, which is a really good way of expressing yourself, is kind of keeping a blighting book where you scribble down your thoughts and anxieties, um, and it's a less intimidating way of saying things out loud. Most important thing for me was definitely being conscious of my thoughts and purposely thinking positive thoughts whenever I was feeling bad or down about myself. The more that I did this, the more that I could recognise the negative thoughts that were in my head. I would write these thoughts down in a book or a journal and I would write down the opposite of what that thought said. For example, you're so stupid, you're going to fail. I would switch this up to, no, you're so smart, you're going to do amazing things when you're older. And I found that not only did this strategy help me to replace those negative thoughts that were in my head, but overall, they helped to boost my self-esteem and emotional well-being to a better place. So yes, I would definitely recommend this strategy. Find out more about mental health, including how to get help and support, check out bestforyou.org.uk.